Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we have the iCarsoft BMM version 1.0 kit, and we're going to demonstrate this tool diagnosing an ABS fault in this BMW 3 Series. It's a 2016 BMW 3 Series, and um, if you are interested in this tool, I'll put the link to where you can pick this up in the description below this video. Make sure you follow that link if you're looking for the genuine product, which you will be, because unfortunately, fakes and clones do exist. So by clicking the link in the description below, that will take you to a genuine listing so we've got the tool plugged into the diagnostic port here and we're going to click on to diagnostics and we're going to work our way through to get a connection with the ABS system now this might not go to plan because I've got a feeling something will happen so we're, we're, going, to, we're going to go to the ABS and DSC system which is generally what you would uh, sort of go to but in this vehicle Let's go and read fault code. And it's telling us no fault codes found, which is a bit strange because we've got the ABS lights on. And what I've found with this particular vehicle, uh, it's not the same for other BMWs, but I don't know why it's doing it for this vehicle, is that um, it's storing codes for the ABS system in the engine section of the tool. So if we go to read fault code, now we can see we've got two fault codes. Uh, interface DSC which is the dynamic stability control and it's, uh, it's it, there's a problem with the signal between the wheel and the engine speed and if we click on the next one it's telling us rear right so the DSC dynamic stability control the wheel speed rear right that's the sensor the signal is invalid so that means we've got a faulty ABS sensor on the, uh, the vehicle so really it's just a case of changing over the ABS sensor, putting a new ABS sensor in. Once we've done that, it's simply just a case of, well, the, the ABS sensors generally cost about 25, 30 pounds. Uh, it would be a case of coming back into the vehicle, clear the fault memory, uh, so once so you've, you've diagnosed it, you've changed the sensor over, then you come back in and clear fault memory. Once you click on clear fault memory, it will get rid of all of the warning lights. That won't happen in this particular video because we haven't changed over the sensor yet, but I really just wanted to make a short video on uh, this particular tool and how it will um, diagnose it and uh, it'll do the resets as well. Uh, but remember, if you are interested in the tool, then by all means, uh, use the links in the description because unfortunately, fakes and clones do exist. And uh, those fakes and the clones, they will cause the, uh, your vehicle and the tool itself nothing but problems and um, they use inferior parts. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.